Hi, Sveta. What do you think made the difference in the third set of that match? Well, I think uh, Dominica was very aggressive. I didn't use my advantage. I didn't serve uh, well enough at 4-2, and that's pretty it. Were there some distractions off court that you were having some, um, some difficulty with? Yeah. I'd rather not go there. I appreciate it's a, it's, it must be difficult at this stage to sort of look back over the last couple of weeks, but you know, do you feel a sense of pride in what you've achieved in, in what's been a long stretch for you? Yeah, I mean, now it's a bit difficult to look at it back because I'm still thinking about the match because I thought I have opportunities, but of course I went a little bit short because I had too many matches and it was very um, emotional, everything. But yeah, I'm very proud of the effort I've done and I played many matches I didn't expect. Um, such a good ending of the season and I'm proud of my effort. Did, did you feel a sense of fatigue or was it more sort of mental tiredness then that towards the end for you? I just didn't think about it. I was just giving it all I had and that's it, you know. It's not worth, it's not worth thinking if I'm tired, if I'm fatigued, whatever it is. I'm not going to put any excuses. I just did all I could and I went short a little bit and then that's it. Sveta, just talking about the emotions of the match and everything like that, and even now, I mean, what what is like kicking off the emotion for you? Is it just uh, the frustration of losing the match, the disappointment, or the pressure kind of all release? I don't know. I think overall, um, I was frustrated for other things, which I thought was a little bit unprofessional. But overall, Dominica played really good. She was really aggressive. I did. I was short in some shots, and in the end, I think she just was aggressive, and I was not. That's it. Hi, Sveta. Um, this was your first time in Singapore, and we're sad to see Second. you. Okay. Second. Um, well, I just was curious. Um, what are some of the things you've enjoyed the most this week? You know, coming here last minute and playing so well. I mean, I was just spending all my time on the court, a lot of time, because straight when I came, I had no time to visit anything. I was trying just to save energy. I stayed all the time in the room uh, and trying to do my best to recover and to play matches. That's all. And I enjoyed the crowd, enjoyed the tournament a lot. And that's it. I have not had any time to, to visit. I understand you don't want to speak about it, but just a clarity, you felt she did something unprofessional or her camp? Please, we don't want to get it. What? Did you feel she did something unprofessional in the match or somebody from her camp? No, she was okay. Any more questions? David? I know you really weren't thinking about much other than the matches this week, but have you started thinking a little bit about your off season? It was sort of a well-deserved vacation. Any any place you'd like to go? Yeah, you know, from here. Uh, last year I had only five days off, so definitely I'll have more time off this year. Especially I qualify here, so I didn't have to go to another tournament after that. So I'm really happy. I'll go for a week home, and really I didn't have any thought of where I go for holidays. I didn't have any time for that. I just wanted to f focus on on finishing the season the best I could. And uh, yeah, I'll go somewhere on the sand where I don't know yet. Sveta, does your season as a whole, or even just the way that your season ended with all of this success towards the end, does it make you hungrier for 2017 and what you can possibly do in you know the first few months there, or is it the same uh, as it was before in terms of your motivation? What do you think is the impact there? I didn't have, honestly, I didn't have any time to think about it. Um, I just think about vacation right now <laughs> and just let it go, you know, so that I, I have to go to bed and uh, and sleep relaxed, not to think about the matches, not to be nervous all the time, because last five weeks it was every single day I think about next day to play match, so I'm like dreaming just to relax, relax the nerve, uh, and then um, I just want to have good season and a good preseason, and next next year just to be consistent. And I think I got lots of confidence after finishing the year like that. 
and I think I can do a lot of things, but of course I don't want to have many expectations. So I, I would like to try to start season as last year. I just try to be stable and uh, consistent. Uh, and just maybe to end on a positive note, you talked yesterday a bit about um, keeping happy and you were very thoughtful about that. What are some of the things that make you happiest about playing on the tour and you know, keeping through day in and day out and, and keeping yourself motivated? Uh, I mean, off tour, my hometown, my home makes me happy and my dog, my friends. On the tour, definitely what you work for it's winning of course winning makes you very happy and just working hard and enjoying tennis that's what makes me happy um, this year I read uh, what Roger said once he said why the press so uh, sometimes so put so much pressure on players maybe some players they just love to play tennis you know I'm not loving to play tennis, of course I love to win and I wish to win, but uh, I do enjoy the game a lot and I think uh, it's uh, really nice to work uh, something what you love and what you enjoy. Um, as you said, you love the game. We talked to Radvanska a few days ago and she says she often goes on YouTube to watch her hot shots. Do you do something like that? And your ones, of course, not hers. <laughs> Actually, I watch hers a lot because she always have these bad shots. I don't know how she makes it, so uh, she really makes nice shots. But I do watch mine as well. Uh, um, last night I was watching the shot I made against Garbini. It was really nice. And also I have a focus on Svetlana Kuznetsova, my fan group, and they always put the best shots of the match. And I, always, I often go to watch that because it's nice. Thank you. Thank you.